VESTA aspirating can get used in almost any application, but we tend to talk about a number of reasons why, key reasons why aspirating is a better solution. So the first one that everybody thinks about aspirating being used for is early detection to enable business continuity. So high sensitivity in computer rooms, data centers, telecoms facilities where the customer needs detecting a fire as soon as they possibly can before it's even really turned into a proper fire. Moving on from there, when we look at things like um, where extra time is required for safe evacuation, that could be in places like hospitals where getting people out of the hospital is difficult and having an earlier level of alarm, not necessarily as high sensitivity as a computer room, but better than a point detector, allows people to react to a problem and, and deal with the problem on a better timely basis. Um, when things like unnecessary suppression release must be avoided, so gas suppression systems or any form of suppression systems in, say, a computer room, it's not a necessarily a major problem if it activates because it's there as part of the, the fire protection strategy. But if somebody can react to that problem quicker, they can deal with the problem and then the suppression isn't released. When we start looking at more, more common applications, we get into things like where smoke is difficult to detect. So that comes into really two things. One, where there's high airflow, so computer rooms again, but also things like wind tunnels, cable tunnels, where there's forced ventilation, making detection difficult. Um, but also areas which are very large in volume. So as a fire starts, the smoke starts to spread out and become diffused. And as that diffused smoke gets to high level, the chance of detecting with a conventional system becomes compromised. Probably a more diverse application is where we start looking at environmentally challenging areas. And environmentally challenging areas can be anything that effectively covers very hot environments and very cold environments, but where we can condition the air in the pipework before it comes back to the VESDA. Um, but also things like that are uh, things like very dusty applications. Dusty applications become much harder to deal with because there's a greater compromise on the sampling holes and the pipework. But with the VESDA VLI detector, where we can protect the, the detection process much better, and also using things like pipe purging systems, auto purge systems, where the pipe is pressurized and the sampling holes are cleaned, it becomes a much more viable solution. Aesthetics and concealed detection is a big application. Um, concealed detection can come into a number of reasons, but for example, prisons or custody suites where the, the, the prisoner isn't allowed to uh, tamper with the sampling point or smoke detector, with aspirating we can hide that detector or that sampling point into the fabric of the building. But also concealed detection comes into things like um, aesthetic applications. So if you've got heritage buildings, churches, cathedrals, even uh, high-end residential properties where people don't want to see smoke detectors on the ceiling and they want to have the minimal visual impact in that application. And the last one really, but it covers a lot of applications, is maintenance access. So if you've got to get to high level or if you've got to get to confined spaces in areas where permit to work is needed, then having the detector, the VESDA unit outside of the space and just the pipe work into the risk, it minimizes the level of access implications and disruptions uh, because people don't need to gain access to the actual physical detection location.